Hi friends, thank you all so much for joining me today. I'm so happy that you are all here and welcome to my channel if you are new. My name is Alyssa and today I'm gonna be turning this chocolate box into a journal. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, I did want to like glue down the sides here and make these sides become like a side pocket for the inside covers. So I believe I will just go with that plan and see what I can come up with. Um, I actually, I wanted to kind of keep the box showing. So I want like assorted chocolates here to still be showing. So maybe I will just I don't know, maybe I'll just have to put this part underneath like that or yeah, it'll have to go like that. And then this could still be a little pocket. So I'm going to do that probably on this side and I'll just cut out a piece of paper to cover up the inside here. So that paper will have to be about four and a quarter by six and a quarter. Ooh, it's like my favorite size. I don't know, I just love like the four by six size or anything around that size. I think it's so cute. Okay, so let's see. Let me find a paper to cover up all of this chocolate. I think I'll just use like this lacy paper here from my Park Lane heirloom paper pad. There we go. And I honestly don't even know what kind of theme I wanna do with this one, so I mean, I'm just gonna do whatever I'm feeling. So I'll cut this down to, actually I'll cut two pieces of four and a quarter by six and a quarter. to the inside cover. I mean, since this is a chocolate box, I can make it chocolatey themed <laughs> or like candy themed, I don't know. I think I'm just gonna glue down. Well, this little flap there needs to be folded or glued down. And then this one too. And then once those are dry, I'm just gonna pop some glue on the top part there and on the bottom part here and just fold this whole thing over. Glue is getting everywhere. And then I can just glue this part down over top. 
this is a pretty thick box, but what we're gonna do is take our binder clips and just hold that in place. And then I'll do the same thing to the bottom here. a little strip for the spine here and I actually I'm just gonna use the same paper so the spine is like one and a quarter of an inch wide so one and a quarter oh whoops I meant to do it this way oh my gosh I now that's gonna be too short hot mess express over here one and a quarter this way okay and i'll just slide this right in to cover that up things what's going on is it too tall why is it too tall that's okay we're just gonna fold it and make it fit <laughs> okay and then I'll just take um, this side I could do the same thing that I did over here but This side, I'm just gonna fold over like this to make a little pocket over here as well. But um, I'm just gonna pop some glue. Actually, I'm just popping some glue at the tops. I'm just going to move my binder clips over now. Let me do the bottom part. And then this whole thing is going to be glued down like that as a pocket. So let me just like glue this part down first. And then apply some glue onto the sides here. All right. And just bring this whole thing over. clips. We'll go there and over here. Okay. I'm running out of binder clips. I still need them for this side. just gonna let this dry 
and hopefully this will work out as a little journal. So while that's drying, I'm just going to pick out my pages and come right back. Okay, so here is my journal and some pages that I'm gonna put inside. And I wanted to go with different shades of browns and like chocolate colors. So that's kind of my theme here. And I'm not really sure how I wanna bind these into my journal. I suppose I could sew them in, but I don't know. I'm feeling kind of lazy, so <laughs> what I might do instead is just grab some string here, maybe even just some twine, and Just gonna wrap this around the spine once and twice. Let me see. Maybe one more time. Like and I'll just cut off my string here. And then this string is going to go around and underneath all of the strings. And we're just going to tie these two ends. And I'm going to double knot it. And then I just want to make sure the strings on the inside here are all good. So it'll look like that. And there's the outside. And then I'm just going to take my pages and just slide them underneath my strings here. So since I have three strings, I'm going to have three signatures and I think I want this one to be my first page. So I'm just going to kind of group these together in a way that I want them to go. So I'm just going to take this first one here and slide it underneath my string, my first little string of course. And I hope this actually works out because this is not elastic so it's not stretchy. But you really don't need elastic. Um, I feel like just any string or ribbon will work. You just have to make sure that it's not too, too tight. Let me adjust this doily. All right, so there's my first little signature. Which one? This one I'm going to do as my second. And I really like this kind of binding because you can add more pages if you want and take pages out. So in case you change your mind about some things, 
it's easy to change in your journal. All right, and then here's my last little signature. Here it is, my little chocolate box journal here. There's the outside binding again. I love it. So now I'll probably just go through and do a little decorating, add pockets, all of that fun stuff. And I will come back and show you the finished product. So here it is. I still wanted it to look like a box of chocolates. So I just tied this gold bow around it to use as the enclosure. So I'll just slide that off. And for now, I just kept the outsides plain as they already were because I still wanted it to look like and feel like a box of chocolates. And Again, on the inside, I just left this part alone and it does say assorted chocolates here and here. So I love that. And then this was our little pocket. I have a be nice and sweet card in there. And again, I'll just quickly flip through this little journal here. I added a tag and a list of contents paper right to the front cover. These are foam taped on, so um, they can be detached or moved around. I've got a vellum pocket here. And this is what's inside. Just some little scraps and cards. I kind of just did that all throughout this journal. Over here, I've just paper clipped a postcard and a vellum postcard as well. Got a scrap writing paper there. Here's my coffee dyed doily. I've got a musical sheet pocket there with a feeling good journaling card. Got a little space to write here. Paper clipped some other little scraps to this side. This one in the back is just like some frosting and icing recipes. This is just a little scrap and this is like a vintage looking sticker. Over here, I've just um, paper clipped a little label or journaling card. This is a side pocket, follow your heart. This was just a scrap that I have paper clipped to the front and back of this page. So um, you can use that for writing and journaling. And then there's my other doily. I've just washi taped some graphing paper on this page to journal on. I have a guest check over here that is washi taped. Over here, I've got paper clipped another one of those vellum postcards and just a little scrap to journal on or you can collage with it. More scraps over here. This one has icings for cakes and this is just some leftover lace paper. I've got a treat yourself journaling card over here. This is like a little recipe booklet. So it's got chocolate date pudding on there. So I had to include that in my chocolate journal. <laughs> I guess this is like a chocolate sweets dessert type of journal. I've got chocolate frosting up here and some other cake and icing recipes and live in the moment.
I think this paper here looks like chocolate, like a chocolate bar. I don't know. I really like it. This flips open and I've got some writing paper and a tuck spot with another little scrap. Writing paper. This is a pocket with good times inside. I've got some other scraps here, paper clipped to the side. And again, same thing on the back. A washi taped little scrap here. Same kinds of things over here. I love this card, stay humble and sweet. Got another tuck spot here. And that's my last page. And in the back, I just have a butterfly happiness journaling card. So that's it for this chocolate box journal. <laughs> I hope that you guys enjoyed it and hope you got some inspiration from this little flip through. I mean, how cute is this? It still looks like a box of chocolates. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give it a like, subscribe to my channel for more crafty fun, and leave me a comment down below. I really enjoy talking to all of you and I appreciate each and every one of you. So thank you so much and I will catch you all in my next video. Happy crafting everyone!